Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. We have seen some insane cover stars during the duration of the footies promo via SBC and Objective, but who is coming next, and will they be the final footies cover stars as this promo is coming to a close, guys? We only have one week left of footies. The season is ending in one week, and all cards are going to be out of packs in eight days as well. There's a lot to talk about with content, maybe a couple of leaks we're gonna see today and those potential cover stars, but also changes to XP. It's a massive day for XP. We're gonna talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Yesterday, guys, I'm disappointed, all right? We talked about that 93 plus player pick coming back. The SBC expired and EA said, hold that. You're gonna have to stick with the 90 plus player pick and have Nothing else to try to pack those top tier footies, shapeshifters, cards from. It's very unfortunate. Um, and, and really, you know, I should have also entertained the idea in yesterday's video that like in a couple weeks before during footies, the 93 plus player pick did not refresh on Wednesday and it ended up coming back the following Friday. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow that 93 plus is coming back. This 90 plus actually the one that we've been doing a lot this week, the only one that gives us a chance at packing 99 rated footies cards right now that a lot of us are chasing. This is the one that it also goes away on Friday. Maybe that's going to come back then as well. So maybe the 93 plus comes back in an even bigger and better way on Friday, but just still disappointed to see it, right? I was really looking forward to grinding that and it actually didn't happen. So you know how it is with EA though? You never know. But we did get an SBC yesterday. Jeremy Frimpong, 99 pace, 99 dribble, and actually pretty cheap and easy to do. 68% upvoted, only 75,000 coins on the SBC, which guys, the card, it looks good, right? This card looks good. But maybe it's just the end game that's wearing on me right now. But for me, I have little to no interest in this card. I'm going to be completely honest. I have uh, I've packed Florenzi, right? I have Klaus in my team. I've got a lot of other great right backs that have been released. And yeah, they have 99 pace. And so this one to me is just kind of like, eh, I don't know. I'm feeling just kind of like it's average. But he's cheap. And Frimpong is always very, very meta. I just personally don't have a ton of interest in him, especially being 4-4 at this stage of the game where Every single player that gets released seemingly has a five-star skill move or a weak foot card as a part of the item. So kind of mid from my point of view there, my standpoint. But I know a lot of you guys, especially with Lacroix, right? Nice Bundesliga links there. You have Lacroix and um, Frempong both as premium items. Easy chemistry for any other Bundesliga cards in your squad. Now, we did have a new free player, of course, yesterday. Headley, uh, 300 XP tied along with that. A free player as well to get some XP there. So, boom, we're going to talk about XP a little bit more in the video today. But that was all of yesterday's content. Pretty quiet day. We opened a bunch more player picks, a bunch more 85 times 10s. I ended the stream yesterday with another 400k pack. Guys, we're going to upload a lot of those packs on the second channel as well. If you're not subscribed, make sure you get subscribed there because those videos are popping recently. And uh, it is fun to open packs around. That's kind of all that there is to do right now in this game is just rip packs, grind games, and try out these insane footies cards that you're packing and have fun with these insane, crazy end game meta sides. Now, speaking of end game meta sides, a lot of these cover star icons, if I even look at my own team, I've got three cover star icons that I've crafted in my squad there are more coming out because they have been a staple of footies this far and guys we have a really cool tweet with a list of some of the cover stars or basically all the cover stars that are potentially missing and since this is the last week of fifa you know or footies we would expect uh that we would have just this rest of the list who has not dropped yet to be potential cards shout out to asy foot trader um on twitter for putting this together together i think this is really really sick and there's a lot of names that are still left guys right there's plenty of potential here to get big names like ronaldo i know they have cristiano ronaldo here showing as fifa 18 but it's the actual the what was it the um the icon version of fifa 18 with r9 ronaldo you've still got uh players like Vieira, Henri, mateus Bergkamp, and all the way back to fifa 94 Rude Hullet. I mean, I think that a lot of the covers that EA have been kind of releasing these cover star icons, um, they've been a lot more the recent covers like the 90s, the 2000s, and stuff like that. You know, Del Piero, Wayne Rooney, uh, Rui Costa. So, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see what they end up doing here. But there's a lot of icons that they could still 
release, right? As we mentioned, Maldini as well. Um, and, you know, big names, right? Really, really big names. Kaká even could be getting another one. And uh, guys, we actually had a really interesting thing happen yesterday on the stream. There was one of the leakers um, come into the stream and say like, hey, I know of two names that are coming out. He didn't tell us who they were. They're not obviously tweeted out yet. I would assume that we're going to see some news about those today. Um, but it really kind of, I guess, gave us a little bit of a teaser of like, okay, there's two that are coming. And guys, R9 is obviously the one that people want, right? I mean, this is the card that we would like. I mean, imagine, right? Especially with the craft and the grind that there's right now in this game, a 98 or a 99 rated, probably 99, R9 cover stars would be absolutely insane. This is the one that we want, right? Will we actually see that though? I don't know, guys, right? Who knows? Um, it may not be that good. Maybe EA doesn't want to give us this card. I feel like it'd be nice if they did. A lot of us would love it, but I don't know if they will, right? Same thing with a Hullet. That'd be insane, but I think those, that's the top tier. If we set our expectations there, we might be disappointed. Now, here's the thing where it ties into today. We're going to talk about XP and objectives a bit more, of course, but today we might learn one or both of those cover star icons because as we've been getting every single week, last week, on Thursday, we learned about the Del Piero uh, SBC for a cover star because he was a part of the objectives for this past week. I would imagine that we learn of one or maybe both of those cover star icons through this objective today. My guess would really be just one like it was last week. One dropping on Friday as an SBC and then one maybe dropping in the next week as a secondary SBC that you would get XP for as the loan. And guys, if I had to guess, if I had to just take a guess at who I think EA might do, obviously Henri is on that list, right? And he had a Shapeshifters icon, which we, of course, had to wait forever to get this year. And people were very upset that Thierry Henri didn't get any special cards until the Shapeshifter icon. Guys, I don't think Henri's going to get another one. He already has this 98. That's already super duper insane. Some of the cards that I think are actually absolutely in line to get one based off of how many special cards they have. Mateus. I think Mateus would be a very good shout. Imagine this 94-foot birthday with all 90 stats being like 98 or 99 rated. Five-star, five-star. That would be an absolutely insane um, icon card. Um, you know, the R9, I would love to see that as we mentioned, but I feel like he's got a really good shout. And I think, you know, we just had a Vieira Trophy Titans SBC, it seems like it wasn't that long ago that we had this card in SBC. Uh, but this one could be really sick as well, right? 93 rated, they could boost him like a 97, 98. He could be all 90s and stats. That will be an insane, insane card. And then I think, I honestly think Beckham. Um, I think Beckham has a really, really good shout, guys, um, just because Beckham is such a big name. This card is super duper rare, and everybody loved this card when it was out during Team of the Year. I mean, this card as well could have absolutely insane stats as a center mid, right mid, right with his position changes, five star, five star. That could be an amazing one as well. So just once again, looking at this last list, you've got some big names in there that it could be. But if we're talking about two, right, we're expecting two more to be dropping. You know, I really do feel like the Mateus. I really feel like the Beckham, the Vieira, and then hopefully a Hullet or R9, one of those two. Again, that's a lot of names. Only one, two, maybe three max are really going to get an SBC for this last week. Who knows? So that's kind of the cover star icon situation. But guys, I would really, really expect the leaks today. I would really expect the leaks, guys. Um, look out for some of those. If it's not leaked before content, look for the objectives in there to maybe give us a hint at at least one of those. Now, also, I want to give you guys another heads up, right? Because footies team five, this footies promo, as we mentioned, is about over one week left. The season says it and the cards uh, best of batch three says it as well. Um, if you have any of these, some of you guys I know mentioned like, yo, Nate, I had a messy. I bought it nine mil and I sold it at like seven point something to get it out. If they were to re-release these cards back into packs for the final week of footies, which I think would be so spectacular if they did that. A lot of these guys are going to get destroyed in value. With the pack grind that we have right now, that was not available when these cards were first out, right? Di Maria is still a million coins in this game. Messi still being 8 mil. Ronaldo still being extinct on the market. I mean, if we take a look at some of the current prices, Ginola is 635. Rashford, they got a price range update, by the way. A lot of these guys did. They're finally on the market, like Robbie Keane and uh, Okocha and those guys. Rashford's 700,000 coins and still dropping just because he's so packable with all the grind that is out. Again, I know not a lot of us care about coins this much at this stage of the game, but I think it's worth noting and worth talking about that if you have any of these tradable, not a bad time to sell because 
if there is going to be a re-release it would happen this friday um and these cards would come crashing down in price that's just a little bit of a word of warning and i hope that ea do it because i would love this opportunity to pack more footies cards especially for a guy like lucio whose price has gone up give me another opportunity to pack lucio because he's actually in packs and not just through a 90 plus or a 93 plus player pick so just be careful with those and uh yeah let's talk about today a bit more guys because i'm not expecting a massive day of content right thursdays are all about the xp and about, you know, basically marquee matchups. That's kind of what Thursdays have been about recently, if we're being completely honest. But today for XP, it's a big one, guys. If you're not at level 40 yet, if you're kind of trying to catch up, today will begin a day of double XP. And the reason that I believe this begins today is because the season is ending at Rivals Rewards next week on Thursday. So this day, Thursday, next week, the season ends, which is why I think with the new objective that comes out today, we are going to see double XP. The final week of season eight, which is this season, will be a double XP week, twice the amount of XP made available via SBCs and objectives for the week, giving you the chance to accelerate your progress. In addition to level 40, uh, oh, it talks about the dollar kit. So Watch out for extra XP today if that's something that you are out and looking for. So everything should be doubled, which is amazing if you're like me and you're way behind and probably won't get super far in the season anyway if you just kind of stopped caring. But double XP for everything means a lot of progress. And uh, that's really nice for those that are maybe not at level 40 just yet so that's what i'm expecting today that's probably going to be the biggest headlines for today of course you got your regular SBCs refreshing your um unlimited repeatable stuff is always there your daily upgrade the footies daily make sure you get that done the challenge and then of course the 85 times 10 none of these are going away on uh friday only the 90 plus player pick is i don't believe any SBCs are expiring today and going completely away let me double check that really quick but thursdays have been pretty quiet so unless we get like a phantom player sbc today out of nowhere like we did with tiago earlier in the week or if they do bring back that 93 plus player pick just out of nowhere um i really wouldn't expect too much today uh, except for some hype and maybe some leaks i'm looking forward to what could happen tomorrow on a footies Friday. So that's kind of the content for today, guys. There's not a lot going on. Keep um, keep grinding those packs, honestly. I know it's getting old, um, but we still hit some insane packs yesterday. I'll see you guys on the second channel for another upload along those lines here soon. And I'm building more 90 plus player picks because I am still chasing 99s, guys. Still chasing them. Did not hit one yesterday. Nobody hit one through all the packs and picks that we opened. Oh, I just spoiled it. Oh, I just spoiled it, man. That was going to be in this second video. But if you saw the stream, you knew that. But anyways, there's still a lot of good pack pulls there, and it's a lot of fun, so make sure you still check that out. And I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys there. Peace out.